Like being crafty and making sweet custom hats like this one? Me too. I'm going to show you exactly how you can in today's episode of Good Tech Cheap. So let's go check it out. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Good Tech Cheap. My name is Brad and I'll be the host for today's episode. Starting out, if you're new to the show, make sure to subscribe where you are seeing this episode at. Today's episode is brought to you by Beaver. We have their digital heat press that is designed especially for hats. That's right, just like the one I'm wearing. So in today's episode, we're going to get it out of the box and show you how I created this cool hat that I'm wearing. But keep in mind, all the links and details to the Viva Hat Press is located in the description. So let's go hit this unboxing. Okay, this is the Viva Hat Press machine. We're gonna get it out of the box, see what all we get. May have to actually turn it sideways to open it so you can see the unboxing. Right on top, we have our handy dandy paperwork. We're gonna need that. Not very much, so it should be self-explanatory. We have some styrofoam. Nothing in the styrofoam, just protecting the top of the press. We have the press here and some plastic. I see a Viber logo. Let's pull the press on out. Get it set down. Checking the box real quick. Nothing else in there. All right, let's get it out of the plastic. So it appears most of this unit is already put together or all of it's put together and ready to use. Moisture control. All right, so yeah, everything is pretty well assembled on this. We have our power cable wrapped up in a tie. Let's get that cut. Here is our power cable. That's everything you get out of the box. You get the unit and your paperwork. So let's see if we can make a custom looking hat. So I have got some parchment paper and this cool little bat and we're going to put it on this hat. Give it a shot, some tape to tape it down. So we'll get that set up and we'll press it onto the hat with the Viver hat press. So now that we are at a steady 400 degrees Fahrenheit, we are ready to get started. So let's get the hat put in the press. To put the hat in, we will take the back catch, get that right in the back of the hat, then release it and it will hold it in place just like so. Now you want to make sure you get the front lined up where the press will come down and it'll work great. So for preheating, we'll just come on here, preheat this for five to six seconds. That'll remove any moisture or anything that we have. So we want to take our bat, place it on the front, just like so, about right there. Then we will take some of this tape that I have, I hold it in place, it makes it a whole lot easier. And it works with heat presses. Really helpful. All right, now we have that on here. Now we have that in place. We'll take a other piece of parchment paper, lay over the top. Just to keep that from bleeding out any. Then we will come down for our 60 seconds and we'll see how well it prints. There's our timer. Let's lift it up and reveal 
That is so cool. And we have it transferred. And here we have it. We've got this cool little bat put on the hat. And that's how you can make your own cool custom hats with sublimation using the Viver hat press. Awesome unit. So Viver, you have done it again and made it outstandingly great product. And I would like to give you a huge shout out for partnering up with us so we could give our audience this review. So keep in mind all the links and details of this Viver hat press are located in the description. So head on over to Viver and check it out. Well, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. Make sure to give this review a like if you found it helpful and get in the comments to let us know what type of stuff you would like to put on a hat. As well as subscribe where you're seeing this episode at. But until next time, I'll be seeing you guys in the next review.